ignition. Lift off. Lift off. Baby, perfect. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. Today is the third episode of our series breaking down the sword combination that you saw in the beginning of the video. And so if you enjoyed this mini series, make sure to hit me with that HBO special. What is the HBO special? Well, I'll tell you. It's the Help a Brother Out special. And so um, help brother out by liking, commenting, and subscribing so that I can hit my 75,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. Is it a big goal? Yeah, but it's my goal, so here we are. However, for this next segment of the combination, it's going to be probably one of the hardest tricks to learn. It's going to be our chest illusion trick. Fun fact, it's actually something I invented back in like 2015 or 2016. Though so you're learning it from the source. So the first thing you're gonna wanna make sure you understand and know how to do is the wind up we've done it in a lot of different things we actually did it in our last staff video with a staff in our hand but this is just a sword wind up it's the same thing with a sword as opposed to a staff so what it is it's just nice and slowly it's going to be pointing it forward going around your head and then going around your back just like so one more time pointing it forward going around your head and then around your back until it's on your hip, just like this. Now this is when it gets dicey. And so before we get into it, I just wanna make sure you know, this is a tricking sword. This is meant for tricking so that if you hurt yourself, it's not gonna actually cut you. If you hit yourself, it's not gonna actually cut you. Seat belts, so, so we can be safe. So if you wanna get a sword like this so you can safely do this combination, make sure you check out the links down below to Century Martial Arts. I'll leave the link to a sword just like this that you can get. And if you use my code NINJA10 at checkout, you'll actually get 10% off and help out the account or help out the channel rather. So if that's interesting to you and you wanna actually do a trick like this, then definitely check out the link and get one for yourself. But with the safety warning out of the way, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna use your wrist to flick it, your sword, up towards your ear, towards the opposite shoulder. And it's just gonna be a flick. Now prerequisite is being able to do your basic forward catch. If you haven't seen my video on the basic three tosses for swords, your forwards, backwards, and horizontal tosses, I'll leave a link in one of the corners for you. But this is going to be incredibly important because this move is exactly what you do here. The difference is you don't spin it quite as hard. So it's a much slower spin than if you were to catch it just down here. So once you release your sword and it's going over towards your shoulder, just like so, you're gonna wanna take that same hand, that right hand that released it, and you're gonna wanna catch it back up here, just like you were pulling it out of your back, out of a holster back there. Now this trick is not easy. It's absolutely a higher level skill to try and pull off. So if you're interested in doing it, try and make sure you practice on grass or something, not concrete like I am, because you're going to drop it. But if you practice it enough, you'll be able to go all the way around the world and once you catch it all you're doing is pulling it back down to your hip just like so and there we have it that's the chest illusion trick if you have any more questions about how to do it just leave a comment down below and i'll try and make either a reel or um a story post that i can try and help you this week get used to the combination and in case you didn't know, I have merch now, like the Ninja Fam shirt and Apocalypse Squad merch and a bunch of other things that you can definitely check out if you're interested. So, links down below if you want to. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.